This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to the introduction video of the Windows install series of my Mac Pro series. In this video, I am just going to briefly explain to you what the point of the Windows install series will be. This series will cover basically any Intel Mac ever made but I am going to be focusing mostly on 32-bit EFI Macs with 64-bit processors. Though this will work on 32-bit EFI Macs with 32-bit processors, of course you can't install 64-bit Windows. But some of the tips and tricks in this may help you too. These videos, like I said before, should work on any Intel Mac that only has official support from Apple for Windows 7, 64-bit or 32. This will cover both of those. And I will be showing you how to install past Windows 7 and do a clean install of a newer Windows like Windows 8 or Windows 10 using all the tools already included and using Boot Camp 6 files, which you'll have to find on your own, but still. Uh, Boot Camp 6 files will allow you to control all your features of your Mac, just like any other Mac that would be supported in Windows 10 from Apple. The only drawback is if you do have a 32-bit install of Windows 10 running, you cannot use Boot Camp 6, and you'll have to more than likely hack files and stuff from a Boot Camp 4 install to try to get it to run on Windows 10, but more than likely you still won't have full functionality of eject keys, volume keys, screen brightness keys. Yet, you should still be able to get all your drivers to work. You just won't have those features. So, as I said before, I am going to be focusing on 64-bit installs. I will be showing you other tips and tricks on just how to get Windows 10 to run like it was running on a regular PC, including how to activate AHCI for trim support for SSDs. Also, this series will help you with a Mac Pro, which of course this series is based off of, but a Mac Pro that um, may have issues like two NVIDIA graphics cards, one that happens to not be supported by NVIDIA drivers anymore, like my GT120. I have a GTX 950 installed with my 120 right now, and I ran into some problems with Windows 10 automatically installing drivers for both cards, which doesn't work. In fact, it will cause your computer to crash. It's not pretty mixing different NVIDIA drivers on one system, um, and it's not easy to fix. So I will be showing you how to fix that in this series too, and this will also cover PCs that happen to have a weird setup like this. I will be showing you how to prevent the automatic driver installs uh, for the older card anyway. So thank you for watching the introduction video for my Windows install series and my Mac Pro series. Yes, it's a series within a series. It's a series inception. Anyway. Well, thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.